everyone. Welcome to a new class with a series of new adventures in the world of biology. I am sure you all must be very excited to learn new things just as I am excited to teach you. But before we begin, let's take some time to really appreciate the beauty of mother nature that surrounds us with its lush green gardens, fresh flowing streams of water, enormous mountains and this big beautiful sky. Not only these, it even inhabits the most diverse living creatures like butterflies, cute loving dogs, vibrant flowers and tall trees. Wow! Nature with all its living and non-living things never ceases to amaze us. And that's what keeps us motivated to take care of them, love them and learn even more about them. So, how can we study this astonishingly gigantic world around us? Well, one of the most notable ways of understanding nature is through science. But science is a vast field with many branches like physics, chemistry, biology, etc. Each branch is meant for a particular type of study. Now, if you want to understand the living aspect of nature, biology is the perfect branch for that. Any idea what biology means? Well, if we simply split the word into two, bio means life and logy means study. So, the literal meaning of biology is the study of life. But life itself is a very broad and difficult subject. How would you even answer questions such as what is the meaning of life? Why should there be life? And what is the purpose of it? These are quite difficult questions to attempt and they open up a Pandora of perceptions around them that go beyond the scope of biology. So why don't we let philosophers and Theologians worry about that. So, what does biology do in particular? Any guesses? Well, it deals with the living organisms and the living aspects of nature. On top of that, it also includes the study of the non-living aspects of nature to see how it affects living things in any way possible. So, tell me. If biology is the study of life, then what do we call people who study it? Yes, it's pretty easy to guess, isn't it? They are the biologists and their main job is to understand the natural world of living things and then try to explain it to people like us. In short, they mainly deal with matters that relate to how life works on a scientific level. So, how would a biologist classify life? For starters, for biologists, life is a set of characteristics that separate living organisms from non-living objects, including dead organisms. Want to know what those distinguishing characteristics are? Well, according to biologists, living organisms are composed of anywhere from one cell to a million more, which makes them highly organized and complex entities. They have their very own genetic code that defines their characteristics. They can acquire and use energy to carry out and control numerous chemical reactions. They maintain a fairly constant internal environment despite all kinds of changes in their environment. And finally, living organisms don't just grow in size consistently, but produce offspring similar to themselves. Now, that's truly amazing. So, if any organism shows all these characteristics, it is declared as a living thing. And ultimately, it becomes an object for biological studies. Simple. How about you pick some objects from your surroundings, both 
living and non-living and see how many would fit into this criterion of living things which we just discussed. I'm sure it will make more sense to you and will help you distinguish living things from non-living ones.